Hey everyone, Technoman here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to screenshot on your iPhone 15 Pro Max on the latest iOS 18 version or any iPhone with the latest iOS version. So let's get started. Now, the simple and the easiest way to take a screenshot is using your volume up and this side button. You're going to want to press and release at the same time. Basically, just like that, it will take a screenshot and then you can tap on it. You can do any edits you like, you can delete it and retake it. And once uh, you're done, you can simply click on done, allow you to save it to either Photos app, Files app, or Quick Note, or you can copy and delete it. So I'll just save it to the Photos, and it will be saved to the Photos app. Now that's one way to do it. Another way to do it if is if you have Siri enabled, you can simply give Siri a command to take a screenshot. For example, if I go, hey Siri, take a screenshot. And as you can see here, Siri will also respond to the command if you can use the buttons to do it. And the same exact menu will come up where you can do edits, resize, markup, whatever you need to before you go ahead and basically save it, delete it, whatever you like. In this case, I'll delete this one. Now, another way you can also do it is by using the back tap method, which if you go into your setting, search up back tap which is a feature that allows you to basically either double tap on the back glass or triple tap on the back glass to perform an action. So in this case, if I selected this option for action for the back tap, I can see there's a screenshot option. Go back here, verify the screenshot. And if you don't have a case or anything on, you can simply double tap on the back glass. And as you can see here, it takes a screenshot just like that in the same exact process goes ahead allows you to do that and you can hit done and then from there on you can save it delete it whatever you need to now another tip i'll share with you guys is that if you're on a website and you need to take a full screenshot of the whole page what you can do is take a screenshot just like this and then once you open up the screenshot you'll see options this is a full page so if you do that you get a full page of screenshot instead of just that one page and then you can click on done save it to PDF as a file or just uh, on the Photos app and you'll see here the screenshots that we have taken are all going to be here listed on it as you can see here this one as well. So those are different ways to screenshot on your iPhone 15 Pro Max. I hope this video was helpful if so please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. We'll see you guys next time.